so now that we know that how actually wireshark works and uh, how you can become the man in the middle and then read the traffic from a single interface from or from many interfaces we want uh, so what i am going to do is i am first going to start wireshark and then we are going to become a man in the middle uh, using the same command we have been using so just here and I am going to type the same command we have been using we put the gateway and we are actually going to sniff the traffic from Windows 10 uh, by being the man in the middle uh, at the interface of Ethernet so 10.0.2.1 then the target IP is 10.0.2.10 and then I put the interface and I am also going to start SSL stripping. So MITMF is also has started for us now and from here into the Wireshark what we can do is uh, we can actually select this interface Ethernet and for example I have uh, another interface that is WLAN 0 and I want to sniff traffic from it too or if I want to select multiple interfaces I can just press control and then I can keep clicking on them and uh, and then uh, I press this button and it will start capturing uh, from all those interfaces but for now I actually only want to capture traffic on Ethernet 0 because that is where I my uh, my man in the middle attack is actually uh, uh, running and what I need to do is I need to actually capture the traffic from uh, this part, this target only. So for that I am going to go to Wireshark and I click uh, Ethernet 0 and now I can press this button which is called uh, which is saying that start capturing packets. So once I click it and you can see that it has now started to uh, capture the packet. So uh, one thing I want to tell you uh, and explain to you is that while we were actually uh, doing uh, the man in the middle framework and when we were being man in the middle and we were seeing the output here we were uh, we could only see useful information for example we could see uh, the uh, the login the interface uh, the pages they are opening and then what they are writing and we were able to capture the keystrokes but in Wireshark we are actually capturing each and everything for example if they search for uh, for a uh, for a website if they open uh, a page or if they open an image or open a video and each and everything because all of that is flowing uh, from our traffic and it and uh, what Wireshark is doing it is capturing each and every packet it is not letting any packet go it is trying to capture each and every packet and then uh, anything that happens on Windows 10 it is going to show uh, for us here so I am just going to uh, browse the internet uh, just like a simple user I can write bing.com here then I will go to the cfsites.org the internet is just a little slow because we are man in the middle and I told you that it can uh, happen sometimes that the internet gets very slow and then it gets fast and it just depends on the internet speed or, or everything and we are in a virtual environment so uh, and we are taking internet from the host machine so sometimes it can get a little laggy so uh, I there is another website I am going to open which is this so I am right now I am just browsing uh, a, like a normal user and they don't know that they are uh, they are being ARP spoofed or they are being uh, hacked and someone is uh, reading their pack their information and uh, checking their uh, their what they are doing so I am just going to type anything here click sign in here is the login page so I am going to write anything here too and just do it so right now I, I am just generating traffic for uh, for 
for uh, Wireshark to actually capture. So now that we have enough traffic, I am going to stop it for now and I am going to explain uh, what is actually happening in Wireshark right now. So uh, starting from here, uh, if I go to the top and you can see that each and every section of here is it is a packet. So if I said this, this is one packet, then this is the second packet, this is the third packet and it is giving it the numbers and uh, we actually managed to capture 5652 packets in just a minute. So I browse the internet for one minute only but you can see that there are a lot of packets which were flowing and uh, it is it has given the number. So it is one packet, this is a second packet and this is a third one. So and here it is telling the time that at what time it was captured like uh, it's it it started capturing at, at 0 0.0000 and then the next and then it keeps going increasing. So I am going to scroll a little down. So here. So okay. So uh, here is the time and then it is telling us the source that this was the source uh, from where the packet was sent. So this, this, uh, this is 10.02.13. So this was our Kali machine and this was 10.0.2.10 that this is our target machine on which our uh, MIT MF is running. So this is Windows 10 and this is the source address and this is the destination. So uh, it sent out the, a packet which was uh, in uh, which was sent to this IP address. We don't know what, what IP address is and uh, what were they, they were trying to do. Then here is the protocol, it is telling us that uh, the protocol was ICMP for this one, it was TCP for this one and it was ARP packet for this one and it is going to capture all the packets for, for all the protocols actually. This is the length and this is some uh, info about, about them. Uh, so and this, uh, this screen here or this section here actually if we click it here and if we click here and if we click any packet you can see that it is going to change so this is some detailed information about this packet and this is now uh, and then it is divided into into further categories and this is just uh, just some uh, uh, the hexa data of 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 those of those packets so we don't need to look into this right now we will look into la into that uh, later but right now what I want to do is and and there are different colors for packets. So for HTTP packet it is green and if it is a black packet so it means that uh, there are some issues with this packet and, and Wireshark actually failed to capture uh, all the data of those packets and so they are so you can see that there is a TLS v1 1.2 packet TCP packets uh, DNS packets are, are blue and, and TCP packets are green HTTP packets are green too so what I am going to do is uh, I cannot actually read all that all the information from the from here so what I do is I can just apply a filter here so I'm going to apply a HTTP filter here because the that is the web browser traffic and I told you that HTTP is used for uh, for web browsing. So this is the protocol I want to uh, see the data for. So I, I write HTTP and I press enter. So now you can see that it is only showing me the packets which have the protocol of HTTP and I wrote it here and now I can see or filtered out some useful information. So let's start here. You can see that this is the Windows 10 machine and this was the IP uh, it actually tried to connect to. So if we double click it, it will open the same information from here and it will open the same information here and we can then look into it into details. So here it is telling us that uh, it, the interface was Ethernet 0, the time and what was the, the, the length of the packet. Uh, here 
you can see that it is giving us some more, inf more information like it is telling us the MAC address of the destination that uh, the MAC address of the server and the source and what, uh, what version IPv4 version was used then the internet protocol it has the head header length and flags and, and stuff like that and then here is the HTTP uh, uh, which is very useful information like we can see that the user agent was Mozilla and Windows NT and Chrome and stuff like that the language which was used so now try we will try to find uh, a packet which has actually some more useful information and we can see that we actually got from it so this is a get request and here so uh, after viewing all the information we come down to the http section and now we can see that our target is actually trying to open uh, a website which name is www.cfsites.org so this is uh, useful information so uh, we are able to see that what server or what website they are actually trying to connect to and we are going to look into more packets and it actually tells us even that what uh, what uh, what was the typing on their on their browser so here you can see that it, it told us that uh, they are trying to connect with the website which is this is the host so it is telling us that our uh, target actually tried to open this website and it is members.tznews.com and there are some there is some if they pass some passwords or usernames so we will see that information here so we can apply further filters on that and then uh, try to see uh, try to find more information you can see that there are images sent and there are Im images received and uh, the ajax and javascript and icons all the stuff like that so we will get uh, into the further details and see how to capture packets and how to sorry how to capture the usernames and password and how can we can read them from uh, from the from the Wireshark.